I think one of the big wine quality questions is vine age. Uh, more than anything else, um, I think what you get from old vines is a very extensive root system where the plants have this really broad nutritional base and they're fully mycorrhizal. Um, there is an organism in the root system of perennial plants that's called mycorrhizal fungi. And um, what if I, the, the best description is if you if you took a root and you made a very thin slice and you stained it, you would see all these little uh, kind of spherical looking organisms that are inside the root. And those, those little um, fungal organisms send out a root out that is called a hyphae. So you have this system of roots, so you have main tap roots and fine roots of the plant, but then you have these mycorrhizal fungi with their hyphae that are going out it's like a full secondary root system that also bring in moisture but more importantly has a different ability to get at certain nutrition that the plant can't get at my understanding is that uh, there's an enzymatic activity with a hyphae that allows the the mycorrhizal fungi to pull in phosphorus, for example, that may be tied up in, in iron-rich soils and bring it to the plant. The plant's really happy and rewards the, the uh, mycorrhizal fungi with plant exudates that the, the, that organism likes. So it's this very symbiotic relationship and really contributes to the plant health. But also, if you think about it, you plant plants that are non, not mycorrhizal in the beginning. It takes them a while to develop this, so maybe it takes you eight years for them to get an extensive root system and become fully mycorrhizal. Suddenly you have this broader nutritional base that is contributing to greater complexity in the flavor of the, of the fruit. So I think one of the things we have with these old vines is very interesting um, nutritional uh, array that is really contributing to nuance complexity and you got to earn that you, you got to grow the plant and get it big and old to start really getting into wines that are that are special and I think if you talk to winemakers they're gonna say yeah there's something that happens when when vines get over 10 years old and and suddenly these wines have have you know differences that that are that are nuanced, but it's it's things that contribute to mouthfeel and and flavors and aromatics that are very special. And that one of the things about Temperance Hill that's cool is we've got some old vines. For for Oregon, you know, they were planted in 81, 82, 83, and then there was a wave of plantings in the early 90s, and and those are kind of old these days.